Why do we get sick? Why do we have so many diseases like heart disease and cancers and diabetes and obesity? These are not normal to the aging process. I ate everything that everyone said was okay and I became this statistic. I had what you call the metabolic syndrome, which is high hypertension, um, high cholesterol, and diabetes. I was given two chronic diagnoses. One is chronic lymphatic leukemia, which is a blood-borne cancer, and the other is chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis is a form of COPD. I recently went for a uh, osteoporosis test, and the orthopedic doctor said that I lost 20 pounds in two years, and he said I lost a lot of bone. There are hundreds of thousands of scientists around the world who are doing research on aging, but more often than not, the vast majority are researching stem cells. Some of the most fascinating aspects of interventions available today to slow and or reverse aging has to do with multimodal approaches. We start off, of course, with very healthy diets, very healthy lifestyles, physical activity to the best that people are able to adhere to. And of course, dietary supplements, that's a given. But then we have to move beyond that. For personal strength, personal health, weight loss, vitality, clarity of mind, the vegan diet was the best without, without a doubt. Aging is different than growing older. Growing older is basically the passing of time. That's inevitable. Aging is what you do with that time based on the culture beliefs that you assimilate and the lifestyle that you assimilate. Can we, with all that we're doing, can we actually change the DNA? Can we heal the breaks in the DNA? Can we stop the massive amount of challenges by free radicals and cytokines and other inflammatory markers that attack your DNA about 10,000 times per day per cell that cause us to age. Remember, we're not racing, we're not competing. We're just allowing ourselves to be open to our own potential. I routinely ask people when I work with them, why do you want to live longer? And people say, gosh, no one's ever asked me that before. But then they start to think about it and go, oh, well, I want to watch my kids grow up. I want to dance at their wedding. I want to, you know, whatever it is that brings a sense of meaning and joy and purpose in their lives. And then when they get in touch with that sense of meaning, they're much more likely to make and maintain lifestyle choices that are life enhancing than ones that are self-destructive. The extension of my life is important, yes but the quality of the life I have while I'm alive is my motivation. When I came here, I went for a walk, it had to be two miles. And yesterday I did 14 miles. I feel great. I don't feel like I have walked at all. My body doesn't have any pain anywhere. And I never thought it would be so wonderful and that I would feel so good. Some people may say, well, you're 73, you're close to death or something. I forget that. I feel like I was 30, 40. I feel the same way. I mean, I have no pains and limitations. I don't, I don't have those, any type of problems like that. So my body feels good. A human lifespan is far greater than 140 years. The problem is it's our lifestyle and our cultural beliefs that are shortening our lifespan at this moment. My blood sugar levels was fasting at about 189. Since the dietary change in the supplements, I have gotten my fasting levels to below 100, which technically makes me non-diabetic. My lungs are clear, and I've had a third check with the pulmonologist but they could find new obstruction, so they had no justifications for respiratory therapy. So now, I can breathe again. I feel alive. I feel actually that my lungs have been reborn. And this is a revelation for me. I feel that it's a miracle. I like going to the gym. I, I like not being able to do something and to see how I can do the things that I want to do. And that gives me a great sense of satisfaction.
and my body feels terrific, so how could I lose 